website now? It's, it's called BoboRap.com. Mm -hmm. And tell me about Bobo. You. Well, actually, Bo is uh, part of the Korean word for wrapping scarf, which is Bojagi. Mm -hmm. And the Bo part means to wrap or protect. Oh, okay. And that's why we're called Bobo. And um, yes, you can purchase pre made wrapping scarves. And I designed my own line just to um, make available to it originally to my family and friends, you know, beautiful wrapping scarves that are, are reversible, um, are reusable. And as an artist, it's very important to me how it looks. Right. So, you know, I and wanted it to. It looks beautiful. Thank you very much. So, but, but you can also make your own. Right. You can make your own out of th some things that you have in your home already. They might be. Um, cloth that you have left over from other projects um, that you can just finish the edges. Um, you can try Which with a bandana. Which is universal, right? You want a finished edge to make this work. Yes, yes. That is one of the things that um, I would recommend. Mm -hmm. um, there are other products out there on the market that um, may not require um, you know, sewing skills. For mm -hmm. example, uh, there's a product on the market that's, um, that prevents fraying on the edges of a piece of material. Oh. So you can check with your local craft store to see what kind of things are out there. In case you're not good with the in sewing case machine, you're not because the sewing that machine. was exactly what I was thinking. Right, right. Or there may be things that um, are around the house. In fact, I decided to give you a little challenge, and, okay. and uh, I brought a few things that I had uh, at my house, which is a package of new dishcloths. Because I, I do a lot of food gifts at okay. the holidays, and um, when I told you about these, we'll tell the readers that what she did was she said. Can I uh, touch it? Can I feel it? Can I see if this is going to work? <laughs> Lots um, of things work as wrapping scarves. Um, but the one thing that you want to be careful of is that the fabric is not too thick. Mm -hmm. If it's too thick, it's not going to knot properly. Okay. Um, but this is not too thick. This is a pretty good material for using as a wrapping scarf. Great. The it's other a, thing, just a regular uh, linen uh, blend. Right. Mm -hmm. linen, linen blend is good. Cotton is good. Um, uh, anything that's not too thick. Uh, the other thing is you want to get it as close to a square as possible. Okay. So a little bit like origami. This mm -hmm. is a little bit like origami, but it's practical origami because it's uh, functional, right. reusable. And um, so if you have something that's, cl this is not a square at all. But we can make this into a square. Okay, let's uh, let's watch as you do that. Okay, so we can just fold this and make it more of a square form, mm -hmm. and we can put our gift in the center. And to wrap something like this, the only thing to be careful of is to put it on the diagonal. That's the only trick. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. And that is uh, so that your your knots will be able to go over it properly. Oh, uh, this is just the the traditional way to oh, okay. yeah the, the the traditional way to fold and wrap. And um, I'm going to use the bow tie wrap for this one because I think that would make it really pretty. Um, so, and for the bow tie wrap, you would just bring opposite corners on top of the gift and. Just lay them on top of your gift like that. Okay. And then bring up the other two corners mm -hmm. and tie a square knot. And you're going to remind us how to do a t square knot. I am. About it. I know. I think boys, go Boy across. Scouts or That's Girl right. Scouts are very good at making square knots, but we often forget. But it's basically left over right yep. and then right over left. Okay. But I mean, something like this, you don't even have to make a square knot. You can, you can just make it like this and uh, stick your card inside. But if you have. Um, enough room at the top, making a square knot just really finishes it off. Make sure it doesn't unwrap. Right, exactly. It makes it very secure and it makes it also very pretty. Oh, isn't that nice? And this, I was worried about this little piece of fabric. Right. But it actually is sort of a decorative it touch. It is, you know? it is. I think it's so. a little decorative touch. You can also tuck it in if you'd like. And what we've done here is is we've given uh, a kitchen gift that comes with a wrapping you can use in the kitchen. Exactly. So it's like two gifts in one. Right. Something like this is very obvious how to reuse the wrapping, um, but some other ideas that uh, you know you can use a wrapping scarf for. Um, you can reuse it as a little tissue box cover. We have all these projects online on our website, and also in your book, right? In the book as well. So let me see you if I can. can um, and this is great. This has diagrams. So if you are not spatially inclined, as I am not, um, I was great at algebra and not at geometry at all. It shows you step by step how you do each of these wraps. So right. the book is is a nice investment, uh, even if you are uh, not planning to. 
uh, buy a lot of wraps at one time, which you may want to buy slowly and build up your inventory. Right. Um, you can be making some of your own, and this book will show you how to use right. them. Right. There's also a section on how to make your own. Oh, if you're great. crafty, you can you know go all out and make beautiful wrapping scarves out of two pieces of cloth, putting them together and sewing which them is, together. Which is, I think, yes. what you've brought to show us. Why don't we try wrapping something with one of yours? Sure. It's something difficult, too. How about a bottle of wine? Oh, that's fun. So. so to wrap a bottle of wine, we would take a wrapping scarf. Um, let's see. A medium size would work well. well good, because I like the glittery kind. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun and festive for the holidays. So this medium wrapping it's scarf, good. again, would just be put on the diagonal. And, again, bringing up opposite corners. Okay. And tying... A square knot at the top. Right at the beginning, we start with the square knot. Right. Okay. And right on top of the bottle. Right on top of the bottle. Mm -hmm. And then you take the other two corners and bring it around the back and to the front. It's like a Diane Von uh, <laughs> first wrap dress. A wrap dress, dress yeah. right? <laughs> if you've ever worn one of those wrap dresses or wrap skirts, ladies, this shouldn't be too difficult. It's couture for your uh, wine bottles. And then tie a square knot in the front. And then at the top, if you have room, you can make a little handle by tying another little square knot. And if not, you can just carry it like this. Right. You can okay. carry it by the handle, the, t the top knot, or you can tie another little knot at the top and create a little handle. And when you're doing that on something perhaps smaller, you, you can place that knot so that you have it near the top of the fabric and there's a space there to carry it. Correct. So. Yes. That's absolutely gorgeous. Can, why don't you hold that up to the camera? Sure. And uh, this is a scarf from, from Bobo, but you can do it yourself. You with, sure uh, can. You sure can. Any piece of fabric, basically. And if you want to get this effect, let me just show them here, where um, if you want to get the effect where you've got two colors, then you want to use a two-sided piece of fabric, and perhaps even in contrasting, like a pattern on one side and, and uh, a solid color on the other. Exactly. You can so. contrast the, uh, the pattern or you can have a solid on one side and a print on the other side. That makes very pretty also. And sort I love, of like it I love becomes this idea of the sparkles for the, for the holiday. Right. It's very festive for taking it to a party or, or um, giving it as a gift from under the tree, that kind of thing. Definitely. Tell me a little bit, um, if, you, uh, if you would, show us a few of your other patterns and tell me a little bit about how you went about getting the fabrics because I think you told me that, that it was some bolt ends that you, you went to the fabric district. Right. Right. We really thought long and hard about what kind of fabrics we're going to use. Um, when we got to the point of manufacturing our wrapping scarves, um, we said, why don't we use organic cotton? We'll use organic materials, um, maybe recycled some recycled fabrics, oh. and we were very excited to do that until we discovered that um, in big metropolitan areas like New York and L.A., uh, there are garment districts that sell leftover bolts of fabric from beautiful, you know, from, from designers who have created so this, this beautiful fabric. So this might have been a dress on a exactly. runway someplace. It could have been a runway dress, and they, they might have 10 leftover bolts. 20 leftover Ten, bolts. Really? Exactly. That much? Yeah. And so there are there are these the, the whole secondary market. I was thinking 10 yards. <laughs> no, no. Well, that would work for the regular consumer, but for us to have a business, we really need a lot more than that. And it was actually possible. We could go to these places, the secondary market, and purchase fabric that's already created. That's just sitting there. So instead of using virgin raw materials, what we do is we go to these places, we shop these uh, garment districts, mm -hmm. and we purchase uh, fabrics that are already out there, beautiful fabrics that have been left over from huge manufacturing runs. Now, what if you were just making for yourself to sort of get your, your household in the habit? Mm -hmm. um, could you still go to, uh, for example, in Boston, I think perhaps one of the big uh, fabric uh, places up there would be in Chinatown. Mm. Uh, do you think you could go in? And, and buy smaller amounts of Oh, definitely. Definitely. They, they definitely fabrics. sell. It, you can, you'll have to pay a little bit more to, to purchase a smaller amounts, mm -hmm. but I think um, you can get great deals at these places. 
That sounds wonderful. I mean, even if you go to, uh, for example, I was in, I think, uh, the fabric shop at Walmart, and, and uh, you certainly wouldn't get the exclusive fabrics that you get if you're going to a designer showroom, but you get some beautiful stuff, and as long as it's not too heavy. Right. Is there kind of a guideline that you can use when you're, um, you know, say you're, you're in there, you're looking at the, the leftover bolts, and there's a little bit of this and that. Is there like a way that you can kind of feel the fabric to, to to give you a good sense or is there perhaps you could practice draping it? Definitely, definitely. I, I would suggest taking hold of perhaps a corner of the fabric. Mm -hmm. If you have a roll of fabric, take a hold of the corner and see how it would knot. Oh, okay. Maybe make a test knot and see how that knots. And if it's too thick, it'll make a very a bulky, bulky knot yeah, that's not easy to work with. Right. So that's a good way to tell and if that's going to make a good wrapping that we scarf. we told you to do this. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. The knotting they, fabric No, I don't, I don't think place, they would so. mind. Just to remove the knot when you're finished. Right. Now, I, I did notice that as beautiful as these are, and um, for example, your polka dots with a, a shine, a shimmer in here, um, they're not necessarily what we might think of as, as Christmas, so they're more of a holiday wrap or an anytime wrap, right? Yes, we're, we're, we, we're consciously trying to make products that you can use year-round. Uh -huh. So I think something like this is very festive and very... At any time. During the holidays, it seems very Christmassy, and yet after the holidays, it's... It can become a birthday exactly. wrapping. Exactly.